Hello everyone, this is Susie Buckles again. This is my second video. And I'm still trying to work out all the bugs from the video camera. It's a lot of things to learn. Anyway, this is a uh, new picture I'm doing. This dog's name was Kira, and she was nine years old when she died from cancer. And uh, I've chosen the background that I want her to have. And if you can see, this is the background. And I'm gonna remove the, my name that's in the middle and remove that and I think I'm going to put the background further back so the dog will be a little bit bigger than this and of course I'm going to have to crop crop out this background neater I just did it really quickly to show you um, let me get out of this right now and show you a couple other things I'm working on if it will let me get out of here. Okay. That's my dog snoring. You can hear her. Okay. Now here's another one I'm working on. This dog's name was uh, Chase. And this is the background I'm going to use for Chase. Now this is the picture. And what I want to do is open it up with Photoshop Elements 10. And this is a background I've used before, but I've changed it a little bit, and I'll make it suitable for this dog in particular. I like to make each one unique. Okay, there we go. Now, I want the dog in it, so I'm gonna to go to File, and Open, and that's not the right dog, so I wanna to go to my library, Pictures, and I want to go to Chase. There we go. And there's the dog. So I'll click Open. And there he is. So I'm going to right click on it to duplicate the layer. And I want the layer to go to the background that I just had, that you just saw. So it should be copied there. And I don't see it. Let me try it again. Oh, I copied it to the same, to the same file. Okay. Duplicate layer to, okay, now it should be right. There we go. All right, you can see where the where Chase is now, and of course it's not gonna stay like that. So I use the lasso tool on that layer. I obviously haven't erased the background yet for Chase, but I will. And I, right now, all I wanna do is Excuse me, see how big or small Chase is going to be. And I think I'm going to make this background maybe a little bit smaller. Okay. So to make it smaller, I just go to this crop button. I think I'm just going to cut off some of the sides a little bit. Just a little bit. And the top. like that. And I think I might just make it just a little bit smaller without losing any of it. So I'm going to use the lasso. Control T and just bring it, whoops, I'm on the wrong layer. Got to do that on the layer I want it to be smaller. And that's this one. I was doing it on the dog. So, all right. Control T and there you go. Obviously there's another layer in here that I don't think I want at all. So I'll click on the button here and I don't think I want this layer in here at all. So then I want to go to the dog's picture again and I have to make sure I have it highlighted and I want to erase this background that the dog's in. So you can see as I erase it, and I'm going to have to make the tail longer, but I, that's not too hard to do. 
it's really important to send me the best photographs you have, the best resolution, best pose, because it really affects the quality of the picture. Okay, I'm going to stop this for right now. I think you get the picture of this, how it's, how it will evolve. So I'm going to save this as Chase, and it's 10, 10 in the morning. So that's a way I will remember which is the newest version. And then I'll get out of that, and I'll come back to it. No, I don't want to save that photo, the crop photo, because I already put it in my picture. Okay. Go back to my photos, and we can see I'm working on one of Maggie and Lexi. And this has been a problem for me, this picture. I've already done it once, and I just wasn't happy with the way it turned out. So I'm going to do it all over again. And if you look at this picture, I've really starting from the very beginning with the two pets. And I have to move them around. And I think I'm going to put a, just a real simple floral behind them. Because the pets themselves were kind of patterny. And if you see Maggie, who's behind the dog, she's not going to stay like that, of course. I can move her, make her smaller, because, of course, she's a lot smaller than Lexi. There we go. So I use the lasso tool. There she is. So actually, I will make her smaller yet and put her somewhere else. And I can even turn her around so she's facing the other way, which I think I like. So I'll fool around with this later and put them on that floral background. I think will look good. I can move them even more if I want. So I'm going to save this and wrap this video up for right now, and uh, I'll see you in a little while. Thank you. Bye.